What is up, guys? We are back today with another live in the UU tier. We're dropping back down another tier once again. We are uh, we are fluctuating between tiers quite a bit, but uh, today we're back with a uh, team that I grabbed off of the Smogon forums. It's a really cool team. Utilizes Mega Houndoom as a wall breaker. It's got a pretty offensive Empoleon. I'll show you guys the team right over here. Uh, where is it? Should be a little bit lower down. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Should have had this open for you. Sorry. Uh, so basically, it's offensive Empoleon with Defog. There it is. All right. It's the last team apparently. Uh, it's uh, offensive Empoleon. It's modest with uh, with Defog, Scald, Ice Beam, Grass Knot. Very nice lead. I love leading with this because Mammoth Swines think they can just EQ you. You got to shuck a berry to live. Uh, fire off a Grass Knot or a Skull to knock them out. Same thing with Crocodile. So really nice Empoleon set. Lives a lot of hits. Can Defog. Reliably, uh, we have uh, Scarf Gardevoir. We'll start from the beginning uh, with Moonblast, Psychic Healing, which which is extremely useful and trick. Uh, we have uh, Hound Doom, Mega Hound Doom with uh, Nasty Plot, Fire Blast, Dark Pulse, and Sucker Punch, which is really useful for Alakazam and things like that. Uh, we have uh, our uh, setup Gyarados with Dragon Dance, Waterfall, Bounce, and Substitute. Uh, Intimidate, of course, to come in on. Uh, on physical attackers that aren't too strong and set up a sub or on things that would normally status you and you just get behind a sub and this thing can cause a lot of damage. Uh, we've got a D uh, double dance Haxorus with Dragon Dance and Swords Dance, Dragon Claw and Earthquake. I might sub this out for something else. I'm not really liking it, but it can win games, so we'll keep it in here for now. And of course, offensive Rock Setter. Needle Queen with Life Orb. This thing is great. <laughs> Dawn fans think they can come in and just spin on you and you got Ice Beam and you just blow them away. But uh, yeah, it's pretty much the team. Let's hop into a battle. We'll get right into it. Uh, really looking forward to getting my mic, guys. Should be coming in this week. Uh, it's going to really improve the audio quality of these videos, so going to enjoy that. So here we have a team with uh, Entei, Swampert, Sylveon. As you can see, Sylveon is now in this tier, so it's really cool. That's why I jumped into here. I'm not using uh, Celebi, Conkeldur, or Sylveon personally. I've been trying teams with them. Conkeldur, I think, is the biggest threat of the three. Uh, Celebi can be uh, worked really well. I think the best thing to pass into, uh, to baton pass into, is Aerodactyl. Um, but uh, yeah, let's uh, let's look at this team. Let's evaluate. I think personally, my best lead would probably have to be. Uh, I want to go with Empoleon really badly, but I'm afraid of that Cobalion leading. Um, I hate not having Volt Switch or U-Turn on the team. Uh, that's something I really like to use as Scarfers with U-Turn just to get into into correct lead in case I lead incorrectly. I uh, really like that, but we'll lead Nidoqueen uh, as he chooses to lead with Entei, which is not... Uh, I don't think uh, Entei knocks us out, I don't believe. We're running a calc right at the beginning. Here we go. I'm also getting a second screen, so you guys don't always have to see these calcs, but uh, I already have Nita Queen up here. That's cool. Sacred Fire does not take us out. Flare Blitz does. Uh, I'm just going to fire off an Earth Power, honestly. Uh, as you can see, Sacred Fire doesn't even take us out, and Earth Power will be able to take out the Entei, so we get rid of a huge, huge threat right off the bat. Obviously, we have Gyarados, but we don't want to be switching that thing into a Sacred Fire. Uh, we have... Uh, our Haxorus with uh, Lumberry, but again, I don't want to be switching into a Sacred Fire or a Flare Blitz for that matter. Uh, Crobat chooses to come in. I have a pretty good counter to Crobat being Empoleon, so uh, we're going to be able to take that Brave Bird very well. And uh, he is Life Orb. I, uh, no, he's not Life Orb. He's just a Greek Oil. What am I saying? I saw 10% come off. I immediately assumed Life Orb, but uh, he is Leftovers. So I can either choose to fire off an Ice Beam here. Or just go for a Scald. I think Scald is my best play. He's going to U-turn out. He's probably going to go out into his Sylveon or into his Swamper predicting rocks to try to, uh, to to exchange rocks. So we'll see what he wants to do. I'd really like to catch the Salamence on Switch and maybe burn it if it's not Lum DD. And uh, things are looking pretty good. Uh, I'm going to keep my Nidoqueen alive specifically for the Sylveon as I can still get off a very, very big, um, a very big Sludge Wave. Uh, and it'll hit pretty much anything on his team other than Cobalion. Alternatively, I can go for uh, Earth Power, but we'll get there when we get there. Uh, I don't know if I outspeed Swampert. If it's a defensive set, I should. I'm going to go for Grass Knot, and we will be able to knock it out, so I guess he wasn't expecting that. I would have been able to learn it, uh, live, live his Earthquake if he was defensive, as we are Shookaberry. Uh, now that's one more threat gone, so uh, this thing uh, was a lot in the tier. Obviously, we have uh, things like... Uh, Needle Queen's Ice Beam and, and Gardevoir's Moon Blast to be able to take it out, but then he's always, he's always got Crobat to switch into on that, so. Uh, he's going to bring out the Cobalion. I don't really have a very good switch for this, uh, other than Gyarados, but I don't want Gyarados taking a Volt Switch afterwards. What don't I need? Uh, I don't need Hound Doom, really, do I? No, not really. Uh, it'd be nice to Sucker Punch the Crobat, but I have other things for that, so. Uh, I think I'm just going to make the play into... 
You know what? I'm actually going to go into Gyarados first, just to get off and intimidate on this thing. Hopefully he doesn't predict that and go for Volt Switch. He actually chooses to go for Swords Dance, which is great. Uh, which tells me he probably does not have Volt Switch. Uh, alternatively, he would have Stone Edge. So, what can I do here? How do I beat this thing? Houndoom only outspeeds it after Mega Evolution, so not the best time. Uh, I wanted to keep Nido Queen. Now I'm consider uh, considering sacking it. Uh, what can we sack? Um, let's go Empoleon. Let's force him to go for the Stone Edge uh, and go into Empoleon. Uh, and what we'll do here is we will get him to lower his stats uh, by going for a close combat. I'm just going to go for a Scald. He's going to go for a Swords Dance. He's going to risk the Scald. I don't know if he's Lum. Uh, he's, we are... No, we are not in Torrent. That just does a lot. Uh, and I'm just going to go for another Scald here. He is going to go for the close combat. It is going to knock us out. But now he's in range of a Psychic. And we are faster than him being Scarfed. So we're just going to fire that off. Uh, he could switch into Sylveon, that's perfectly fine. I mean, I still have uh, a lot left, so uh, I can I can switch into Sylveon. Uh, he chooses to go Crobat instead and takes a Psychic, so there goes the Crobat. Very nice. Sylveon decides to come in. If it is Specs, uh, it will most likely outspeed my Needle Queen if it's max invested in speed. Uh, what do I want to go into here? Can Houndoom take one? If he's Specs, I don't know. I uh, don't really want Gardevoir taking it, as it's the only thing that reliably takes down Cobalion now, being a Swords Dance variant. So, uh, do we sack Haxorus here? I would love to have Poison Jab on this thing. See, this is uh, this is why I might switch up this Haxorus set. But, uh, I mean, we have Sludge Wave, so it's not a big deal. Uh, I'm just going to go Houndoom and fire off a Fire Blast. Uh, he does go for Hyper Voice and does knock us out. That tells me he specs, and that also tells me that I don't have a response to this thing. Um, just gonna go into Gyarados here. I should be able to take, yeah, I should definitely be able to take one Specs, uh, one Specs, uh, Hyper Voice, but he is not faster than me. So I can just fire off a Waterfall here, uh, attempt to flinch him if we do not. Yeah, we do. Okay, cool. Uh, just gonna go for Bounce here, uh, and if he wants to switch out into his Salamence or his Cobalion. Uh, Cobalion will most likely go down, I believe. It is a neutral hit coming off of quite a bit of attack. Uh, and uh, Salamence has the, runs the risk of getting paralyzed, so uh, not the best time for that either. He's going to fire off a Hyper Voice, obviously miss. Uh, if he switches out here, once again, the same things we just said. His Salamence can get parried. His Cobalion can go not down, but we do get the para, so that's going... Oh, okay, so he was Lum. All right. Uh, he can go for Stone Edge here, but once again, I don't believe it takes me out. Uh, let me see. Uh, Cobalion... Offensive, you use Swords Dance, let's say. This thing runs Stone Edge, yes. And Gyarados, uh, Offensive Dragon Dance, but take off the Intimidate, please. And we will see that Stone Edge comes nowhere near knocking us out, and he still has to land it. He does, uh, he doesn't crit us, luckily, and we are able to get rid of the Cobalion. Uh, I don't know if I want to keep my Gyarados alive, necessarily. Um, well, I mean, it does prevent his Salamence from spamming EQ, so... Yes, yes, I probably would want to keep it alive. Uh, if he goes in immense here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, sack my Haxorus because it's uh, it's the sixth member that's completely useless this game. Uh, if he goes for an Outrage, he goes for a Dragon Claw, which is going to knock us clean out. He's going to get to plus one, but now we can go Gardevoir and just start firing off Moonblast. I do believe he's Scarfed, so he's going to have to switch here. He goes into Sylveon, going to fire off another Moonblast, knock that thing out. And uh, now we are in with Salamence. Why am I plus one attack? What happened? What did I What did I trace? Hold on a second. Oh, Moxie. Okay, <laughs> that's completely useless. Um, so Salamence either has to lock itself into EQ or Dragon Move. Maybe even Iron Tail. But what I'm going to do is... Um, I'm probably going to sack my Nidoqueen here. Um, yeah, that's, that's probably my best play. Let me think about this for a sec. Uh, yeah, let's go Nidoqueen. I mean, he has to lock himself in Iron Tail, right? Yeah, he does. As we are going to go into Gyarados now, uh, neutral Dragon t uh, Iron Tail should not take us out. And I'm going to go for a bounce here, as it does not, as you can see. Uh, it does get a defense drop, which is a little bit scary. Uh, how much did that do? 21. And that was neutral. So I'm going to go for the bounce. He's going to miss the Iron Tail, obviously, right there. He has a lot of PP on that move, though. Uh, we're not going to get the para on the bounce, unfortunately. And I think I'm actually going to have to switch out here. Uh, how much did his last Iron Tail do? 21? Yeah, I'm going to have to switch out. I'm going to go Gardevoir. If he misses, it doesn't really matter. I mean, he can just fire off another one. He does miss that one. Uh, we're going to go for Moonblast right here. He misses another one, so that's going to be the game. That's really unfortunate. But 
Um, Gyarados would have come back in, it would have been able to live another one, barring a crit, and would have been able to bounce one more time. Uh, of course, we had to hit the bounce, but he had to hit his Iron Tail as well, so... Uh, I think we pretty much had that one wrapped up, I kind of made it a close call there, but... Uh, we'll jump into the next game, as you can see, the uh, team has a lot of power, but... I really don't like this Haxorus, man. <laughs> it's... Uh, it's not that great. Uh, so here... Here what I'm gonna do... Because he has a Crocodile, I'm gonna lead Empoleon, as I said before. Uh, it leads very well against this. I can just fire off a Skull, and if he wants to go into Vaporeon, we'll act accordingly afterwards, but... Uh, he chooses to stay in and Stealth Rock instead, so he's going to take this huge Scald and just drop. And that's why Modest Empoleon is so good. <laughs> and uh, now he doesn't really have a good answer to this, actually. I mean, Shaman can can stall me out, but I'm not going to stay in on Shaman. There's no way I have a Houndoom. Uh, he can Earth Power me, but... Uh, he chooses to go Crobat instead. Don't know what kind of Crobat this is, but I'm just going to fire off an Ice Beam as he cl clicks Taunt. Uh, and we're going to weaken that thing. Bring it down to about uh, 36. 36, yep, after Leftovers. And uh, now I'm just going to fire off a Scald as he chooses to go for Raybird. So Empoleon taking down two Pokemon very easily. And we can still defog on the Vaporeon, so I have no no issues right now. <laughs> Empoleon just putting in all the work. Uh, might have a shorter episode for once. I uh, choose to go Aerodactyl. Again, uh, this is going to go straight down. He can EQ me, but we still have the Shookaberry intact because he didn't decide to EQ with his, his, uh, his Crocodile. He thought rocks were more important, so uh, he's going to Mega Evolve. He's going to go for the Earthquake, we're obviously going to live that because of the Shookaberry, and we're going to get a huge amount of damage off with the Skull. It's not going to kill, but it is going to burn. Okay, so we are getting a little bit lucky. <laughs> um, so that's uh, that's that thing down. Uh, so we already know that Nidoqueen can take a Sacred Fire, so I really, really don't mind this thing uh, knocking out my Empoleon at this point. I mean, realistically, uh, what's he going to do after? Um... I mean, alternatively, I could go Gyarados or Haxorus. Uh, I th actually, I think Haxorus is the best play because I can still defog on the uh, on the Vaporeon and I can and I can win with uh, with Gyarados instead. Uh, he's gonna go for Stone Edge. It's gonna do a tremendous amount of damage, uh, but it doesn't really matter because now he runs the risk of missing. So what I'm actually gonna do is just Dragon Dance. Uh, he is actually not banded. Uh, I should have known that by the Stone Edge, but uh, he's gonna knock us out here with the Extreme Speed. However. But this means he could be not adamant as well. Let's actually calc that. I want to see Entei uh, Choice Ben. But if we take off the Choice Ben, how much do, does he normally do to Haxorus with the uh, with the Stone Edge? Haxorus, Double Dance. Stone Edge does 40 to 48, which I think is roughly what it did. Yeah, he actually got a high roll on that. Um, but he is adamant. He definitely is adamant. Because uh, he wouldn't have been able to get that roll if he was jolly, so... Uh, so this thing is, uh, is a little bit of a problem, I guess you could say. Uh, we could get the Intimidate on it after an Intimidate. Sorry again. Gyarados, Offensive Dragon Dance. After the Intimidate, what are you doing to me with Stone Edge? Not too, too much. I can Dragon Dance up on you and go for Waterfall. And then potentially sub on your Vaporeon. Uh, alternatively, I could just go Nidoqueen here. Which I think is... Uh, I think that's my best play, honestly. I'm just going to go Nidoqueen, and uh, here, I'm just going to Earth Power, because I don't want, uh, well this comes in anyway, but uh, Earth Power does 48, that's quite a bit, and then he recovers Leftovers. So I don't think we can take him out with a Sludge Wave, we shouldn't be able to. Um, do I want to get a Brox here instead, or do I just want to go into Gardevoir? I'm going to go into Gardevoir and trace its, uh, its Water Absorb. Let's see if he actually goes for a Skull this turn. Uh, as he actually chooses to go for a Wish. Not a big deal. Uh, would his... Uh, would his Entei be packing Bulldoze? Maybe. I'm just going to fire off a Psychic here. As he chooses to go Entei. So we're going to get a big head off on this thing. But he's going to recover it all back anyway. Um, I mean, I can still hit this thing. Uh, can he take me out if he's not banded? More than likely, yeah. I'm just going to go for Psychic again, honestly. Just weaken this. And uh, he's going to go for Stone Edge. He's not going to knock us out, but E-Speed is going to be able to clean that up. Um, there it is. And now we go into... We said he was adamant, right? So Houndoom should be able to outspeed him. So we're going to go for Dark Pulse right here. He might just E-Speed me. Uh, this game is not won yet. 
thought we had it in the bag after we took out that uh, that Aerodactyl, but uh, this non-banded Entei is putting in a lot more work than I expected it to. Uh, we are going to be able to take out the Entei there, luckily, as his Vaporeon decides to come in. And I'm actually just going to nasty plot here. Really hoping he goes for a Wish as he goes for a Scald instead. Okay, that's, uh, that's perfectly fine. Um, Empoleon can do a little bit of damage to this thing. So what I'm actually going to do is... Do I lose to Shaman if I don't have a DD up with Gyarados? Maybe. Maybe. He only has 8 Seed Flares, though. So... Yeah, I'm just going to go Nidoqueen, honestly. Uh, and I'm just going to fire off a Sludge Wave at this point. Uh, do as much damage as I possibly can to this thing. Potentially poison it. It's a 10% chance, but it's still there. If you go Shaman here, I think it's pretty much knocked out. And uh, this is going to do 45, so not much more than the Earth Power from before. And, uh, I mean, he pretty much has to protect here. We are faster. So I'm just going to get up rocks, honestly. Yeah, I'm just going to get up rocks. And uh, he has Wish, Protect, Scald, which means he definitely can't break a sub on Gyarados. So yeah, this is pretty much over. Uh, just get, go for Sludge Wave here, have him knock me out. That's actually not going to take me out. Luckily, he doesn't burn me. Uh, that's what I wanted to see. Uh, and we're going to go for Earth Power here, because we have a chance to Spadef drop him. Uh, and he's definitely going for Wish right here, so we're going to try to uh, lower his special defense as we do not succeed. Uh, but now he put himself in range of, uh, of dying to pretty much anything. Um, just going to go, is his last move Roar? Oh, that would be interesting. Uh, I'm going to go for Sub here, uh, as he chooses to go straight down into Shaman. And uh, we are going to Dragon Dance on this thing. Uh, actually, uh, okay, so he misses. So that's really unfortunate, but it's uh, just in case he was Scarfed. I didn't see the uh, the leftovers, actually, so he's, he's just a leftovers variant. It's not a big deal. Uh, just go for Bounce here, as uh, his Seed Flare is obviously going to miss that time. Uh, we're going to click Bounce again. It's going to be able to knock out the Vaporeon, but he actually gets knocked out by Rocks anyway, so that doesn't change anything. Uh, and his Shaman comes back out. We're going to Bounce again. And uh, I don't think this thing has any sort of self-recovery other than maybe Synthesis. He chooses to go for Sub. That's fine. We'll break the Sub right here. And uh, his Seed Flare is going to break uh, my Sub. But I'm going to be able to spam Waterfall now. Uh, I don't know if I can actually break a Sub with Waterfall. Oh, I can. Okay, cool. I do 29. Uh, he's going to Seed Flare right there. He's going to get a Spadef Drop. Uh, and I'm just going to go for Waterfall again. Because, yeah. <laughs> because I don't want him subbing on me, so... Uh, he has he is gonna go for substitute right there, and he's gonna be knocked out to the next waterfall. So, uh, so that's gonna be a pretty much good game. And there we go. So we picked up another one. And uh, can we make it three? Let's 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 do three. We can do three. And we get a team with an Yanmega on it, and a Kingdra. Ooh, the Kingdra scares me. Uh, would he be Baton Pass? And the Kingdra plus Focus Energy, and then just outspeed everything and crit everything. But how does he deal with Empoleon? That's the question. I don't think he can. Yeah, no, I don't think he can. Um, basically what I'm going to do here is I'm going to... I'm just going to set up rocks early. Uh, as he actually chooses to lead with Crocodile. I didn't see the Crocodile, but I should have led with uh, Empoleon for sure. Um, that's kind of problematic. Uh, does he have a response to Gyarados? Not a very good one. He might just knock here, though. That's what I'm scared of. I'm scared of knockoff, mostly. Hmm. No, I'm just going to go Gyarados. I uh, don't really care if he knocks me off. That's fine. That's perfectly fine. Yeah, that's okay. Uh, he seems to be Choice Banded uh, or Life Orb. He's actually Life Orb. Uh, so does he outspeed me? It doesn't really matter if he outspeeds me, because I can just... Um, I can live the next knockoff, absolutely. Uh, unless he has Stone Edge, that would be unfortunate. Uh, we're going to go for Waterfall right here on his Empoleon. Uh, perfectly fine. His Empoleon is not Leftovers, which tells me it's most likely Shuka. Um, just going to Dragon Dance here, actually. Uh, as he ch decides to bring back in his Crocodile, which is great. Because now we definitely outspeed this thing. And I can fire off another Waterfall. And we're weakening his Empoleon as it comes in and out. So uh, here I'm going to go for another Waterfall and attempt to flinch this as we do not and he gets off a hidden power electric very nice very nice play uh... we should be faster no not necessarily i'm definitely faster with houndoom though 
Definitely go for a Dark Pulse. Followed up by a Fire Blast on the Crocodile, now that we know it's not Scarfed. Um, his Sylveon is definitely a very good switch in here. So I'm actually going to risk the Fire Blast, just so I can get off as much damage as possible on Sylveon, which is probably what's going to want to come in here. And, uh, I'm, I mean, there's probably no chance he switches into, uh, into Kingdra. He wouldn't want it weakened, or Yan Mega for that, for that, uh, for that matter, so. Uh, in comes Sylveon, we are going to get a very big hit on it, and we are going to see that it is most likely Specs. So I am gonna, just going to switch out into Empoleon here, uh, as he's going to Baton Pass, very nice play on his part. But, his answer to this is Crocodile. And Crocodile, as we saw before goes down to a Scald, and we live EQ no problem. So, goodbye Crook, and that's one more thing out of the way. As his Empoleon chooses to come in, as we saw before, it has Hidden Power Electric, uh, but I can't really switch in on this thing. Well, I have Haxorus. He's not going to go for an Ice Beam, so I'm going to go into Haxorus right here, and uh, he's going to go for an Agility, actually. I don't know if... Um, if uh, Ice Beam takes me out, maybe from a Modest Empoleon it would. Uh, I'm just going to fire off an Earthquake though. He's going to go for Ice Beam and it is going to take us out. Alright, that's fine. Uh, I'm going to go into Houndoom here. And uh, we can just Sucker Punch this thing to knock it out. Should be able to pick up the kill, yeah, absolutely. And uh, now he can go back into Sylveon though, which is uh, still a threat. So uh, Empoleon normally would wall most of his team, but if his Kingdra specs, then Draco still takes us out from this range. Uh, if Beedrill has Drill Run, if uh, his Yanomega is Tinted Lens, there are a lot of factors, so... Here, um, do I want to just sack Empoleon? Because, I mean, if he, even if he Baton passes, it doesn't really matter, right? So, uh, he is just going to go for Hyper Voice, that is definitely Specs. And, uh, we can just go into Nidoqueen here. And actually what I'm going to do is, because I have my Gardevoir... Uh, Sucker Punch, Sucker Punch, Dark Pulse... Hmm, maybe not the best idea. I do want to get up rocks for the end mega specifically, uh, which is what I'm going to do. That does 51% and he is faster, so maybe that wasn't the best play. Hopefully this is a roll and he doesn't get it this time. As he does not! Nice! Okay, cool, so we're able to knock out the Sylveon, and I don't have to go directly into, uh, into my Gardevoir and play around with rolls after, so that's really cool. Uh, he's going to bring in his Beedrill, which of course is a threat, but we have a Scarf Gardevoir, which can pretty much clean up at this point. So I'm just going to fire off an Earth Power in case he tries to be cheeky. Uh, he goes for Poison Jab, which is perfectly fine, as now I can go into... Does Gardevoir outspeed this? Hold on a second. Uh, I think it outspeeds this, but not Aerodactyl. I'm going to pull up a, an actual calculator here. Um, 284 times 1.5 equals 426 are we serious times 1.5 oh wow okay we are one speed point lower than this thing if he's jolly of course which he should be um, does Houndoom take him out with a sucker punch <laughs> there's no way there's no way Houndoom takes him out with a sucker punch um, Houndoom, Nasty Plot, is Sucker Punch already on this set? No, it is not. It's Taunt. We're going to go for Sucker. And we're going to see right now if Beedrill... One, if Beedrill takes us out. Um, Mega Beedrill, Sucker Punch does not do enough. But neither does Poison Jab. So that means I can go into Houndoom. And I can actually fire off a Dark Pulse. I don't need to Sucker Punch and reveal it. Because Dark Pulse... Um, yeah, Dark Pulse will put him in range. So he's get he's Defog Beedrill. Okay. Alrighty then. Um, we are going to Sucker Punch right here. And it's going to fail as he goes for another Defog. I'm going to Sucker Punch again. Don't really care. He's going to Defog. I'm going to Sucker Punch again. And that one's going to land. So goodbye Beedrill. Uh, luckily I didn't get impatient there. He is going to go into Kingdra now. But we have our Gardevoir. And Gardevoir is Scarfed with Moonblast, which I do believe takes out Kingdra. Uh, this is the episode of Calcs. We even brought up a real calculator, guys. Uh, OU Wallbreaker, we are not Specs or anything. Uh, this is okay, but we are 252 in Special Attack. Uh, Moonblast, oh hold on, I gotta change this for Moonblast. There we go. And uh, we're gonna see Kingdra. 
Kingdra, 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 Kingdra. How much can you do? Uh, to, let's say, Specs. Doesn't really matter. 106, and how much do you do to Yen Mega, and how much does it do back? Uh, UU Speed Boost. Bug Buzz does a lot. And Moonblast can't kill. So I think I have to, I, I actually have to risk going into Gardevoir directly here. Does, uh, does Kingdra take me out with anything? Kingdra, OU Choice Specs. Um, Hydro Pump actually does not knock me out, so I'm going straight into Gardevoir here. I'm pulling the trigger. We are going to get the Swift Swim. Uh, he's actually going to go for Dragon Dance. So, that's crazy. Um, do you outspeed me now? If you are max speed, yes you do. If you're not, you do not. Uh, he is, he waterfalls, he does not flinch, we're able to take out the Kingdra, awesome. And now we are just going to Moonblast. And he does not have Protect. He goes for the Bug Buzz. And I think Houndoom lives a Bug Buzz, unless he's Tinted, right? Right? Yeah, and Mega? Uh, UU Speed Boost? You're n wait, you're not Speed Boost, are you? No, you are Tinted Lens, hold on a second. Uh, ability Tinted. Tinted lens on Houndoom. Houndoom, nasty plot. Bug Buzz still doesn't do enough, so Dark Pulse it up. And we are faster, what am I saying, of course. <laughs> I didn't even have to run that calc, sorry about that. So uh, we are able to pick up three wins in the UU tier, luckily. Uh, I was actually really uh, shocked <laughs> that we were able to do that. I was, again, w once again on tilt before I started this episode. But now we're back up to 1527. I don't believe that's on the ladder. We're just going to check really quickly. Uh, UU, what did we say, 1527? I don't think we're anywhere near the top, but uh, 15... Actually, hold on a second. Hold on a second. We are... Where are you? There we are. Okay, so we're 443rd. Uh, so I'm going to try to ladder up a little bit more in this tier. Obviously not right away. I've been doing a lot of UU lives, which is not really what I want to do. I want to get better in OU, especially for the PWM. i got to come back into uh, to OU, into the mindset. So I've been having fun with UU guys, especially with all the, t the tier changes. Now it's so fun to see Sylveon and Conkeldur, uh, and especially Celebi down here. So... Uh, that's going to be it. Uh, I was going to make an episode about all the uh, Pokemon Sun and Moon hype, uh, but I decided not to as it's uh, pretty much oversaturated right now. Uh, people went crazy today, so yesterday, sorry, I'm recording on the day that it came out. So um, yeah, so uh, I'll be uh, I'll be straying away from that. Uh, however, I am I am Team Sun and I am Team Litten. So if uh, if you wanted to know, and that's going to be it, guys, for today. I just wanted to uh, thank you again uh, for watching. If you enjoyed, hit that like button down below, of course. If you want to see more, uh, make sure to hit the subscribe button. And uh, the music is in the description, my Twitter as well. If you have any questions, you can also leave a comment. And uh, yeah, that's it. Thanks again for watching. Have a good one. Ciao.